Hey guys, Ricardo and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. So guys, I'm going to show you how to actually place your Windows 10 into safe mode or safe mode with networking. Right? It should be quite easy. Now this is great for troubleshooting issues with your Windows 10 PC. All right? So the first thing you're going to do guys is you're going to reboot your PC. So of course you're going to click the menu over here. You're going to hit on the power options. And here in the power options, it's going to go ahead and um, restart. So next I'll see you at the login screen. So just allow your PC to restart and move back up to the login screen, but do not log in. All right, guys, so we're back at the login screen. So the first thing hold on your keyboard is to hold down shift. So just hold on shift key. And of course, over here in the corner, you'll notice the power option all the way over here on the left. You're going to hit the options while holding shift. You're going to go ahead and restart. All right, so that's going to go ahead and restart while holding down shift. You hit restart. And of course, something special is going to appear. Instead of restarting, it's going to go to a special menu. And of course, there you go. And from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to um, troubleshooting. Next, advanced options, startup settings. Next, you're going to just go ahead and um, restart. Alright guys, so we're back to the special screen. So you see all the modes you can do. You can enable debugging, enable boot login, enable low resolution mode, enable safe mode. And of course, safe mode is what you're interested in. But more specifically, you can enable safe mode with networking, meaning you'll have network access, are able to connect to the internet. Alright, so number five is what we're interested in, in this particular case. So on the keyboard, hit F5 or the number five. Once we hit number five, of course, the PC will boot up in this special um, mode. Also note guys that while it's booting into this mode, you'll get a lot of low resolution. So the screen might look a little weird. You can go ahead and log in. All right, so as you can see here guys, you should be seeing a black screen. And of course you see your desktop icons. Of course I've hidden my desktop icons, but of course you can see the bill number all the way up here and so on and so forth. So you can go ahead and uninstall or try install programs that are giving issues or run any special program that's a clean or remove. Alright guys, you're Rodner Rodner from Blog Tech Tips showing how to actually fix an issue with Windows where you can actually go into safe mode to fix various issues. Alright guys, you're Rodner from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye.